What's good, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Call Outs TV. This is your boy, Job, man. Let's talk about it real quick, man. So there's been a lot of talks that's been going on on the internet about, you know, whether St. Lars was in PC or whether he was, whether he signed in the PC or not and blah, 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 and this, that, and the third. Listen, man, y'all have the right to say whatever the fuck y'all want to say on this internet shit respectfully. You know, I know... That's how a lot of niggas, that's how they heat. That's how they support their families, you know what I'm saying? So I'm never going to, you know what I'm saying, stop niggas from getting their bread or whatever. You know what I mean? Do what you do. But if you only getting about, like, a 1,000 views, 1,500 views off of talking about this shit, call yourself exposing somebody, and you ain't really getting no chicken like that on this shit, and you struggling outside of YouTube, off of YouTube in real life, then that shouldn't be your concern. You shouldn't be worrying about that. What you should be worrying about is trying to get your family's gas on, pay the light bill, pay the rent, so you can keep them babies in that house warm for the winter. You know what I mean? This faggot ass scheme fiend nigga that's always complaining about, yo, jaws on my body, jaws on my body. Yeah, I'm on your body, nigga. Pause, nigga. I'm on your body, nigga. I wish I could break your little body up. Yeah, I'm on your body, man, because you always dick-sucking the next nigga, bro. And I call out the shit that niggas is afraid to call out. Now, this nigga's worrying about another nigga that's creating good jail content on YouTube. He dick-sucking the nigga, worrying about whether he was in PC or not, whether he was putting on, whether he signed in and out or not. You know, I find this shit real funny that it's always the niggas that ratted that signed thin some fucking way and they got the nerve to be judging the motherfucker. Like, who the fuck are you, nigga? Nigga, there's been rats in your fucking name ever since you came on YouTube, nigga. The rat has been attached to your fucking name. The fuck is you talking about, bro? Why you on that man nuts? You mad, bro, because you was on YouTube before him and he got on? He got on and niggas is jacking him? You stupid motherfucker. Don't you think that if the nigga was a fugazi, foo-foo nigga, you think he'll be having real official street niggas on his live? And this ain't no dick-sucking shit. But I'm going to give my opinion just like everybody else is giving their opinion. I'm not going to stand with the crowd, nigga. I go against the crowd, nigga. I've always been like that, nigga. I'm a fucking tourist, nigga. I'm a rebel, nigga. I always go against the fucking grain. I give my opinion because it seems like everybody else is giving the same a fucking opinion about the dude. Like, damn, bro, like... Let the nigga breathe. If you're not getting no chicken or for speaking about the nigga, then what the fuck do you give a fuck about, man? His channel is lit. This nigga's on his way to what? 60,000 subscribers? He only been doing these jail stories for like, what, two years now? I don't watch the nigga like that, but from time to time, his shit pop up on my feed, and I might click and see what he's talking about. Because I could tell you one thing, man. And this is no dick riding shit. I'm just keeping it funky, bro. Like, yo, his content is way more interesting than the scheme thing, nigga. I don't know about the rest of y'all. You know, Devon, you know. You know, Devon, he looked like he don't need YouTube money, man. You know what I'm saying? The OG, he looked like he well situated, man. So, you know, I know he just getting on, just, you know what I mean, speaking his mind or whatever because, you know, I heard that Devon was a nigga that was putting it down, man, when he was locked up in his prime in his younger years. And he was always one of them fly boy niggas and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he going to give his point of view or whatever. That's cool. But he, I, I guarantee you that Devon, I guarantee you his gas is on. I guarantee you him and his kids ain't freezing if they live with him or his shorty, white people, whoever. I guarantee you they got heat. They got gas this motherfucking window, this motherfucking winter. And I guarantee you, when the Christmas and the holidays come around, I guarantee you these niggas got enough baby love to, to make sure they buy pres they, they buy presents for their loved ones and the little kids that surround them. Your bum ass can't do that. So that shouldn't be your concern. You, you, you worry about all the wrong shit. This is why you stagnated and fucked up in life and can't get nowhere. And then you mad when call us, expose your little dirty, dread-headed ass, man. Come on, man. Like, yo, bro, you, you, you embarrassing, bro. You embarrassing for your age, bro. And this is why you can't get nowhere. 
This is why Tay is always kicking you out. Cousin Tay says she always kicking you the fuck up out the crib, bro. Because your priorities are twisted, man. No woman can't want to be with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? That was the smartest thing that ever had, that, that you ever did, bro. Is not lay down and make no babies, man. Because you can't take care of them. You can't support them. You letting your little nieces and nephews go hungry in the crib with no fucking gas on. They eating fucking Lunchables, man. And Hot Pockets all winter. Because they got a grown man that lives in the house. And all he talks about on his little dirty, funky-ass YouTube channel is, 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 is politics. And, and that's not paying him no money. It's not giving him enough for no food on the table, man. I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. This man is not contributing to that household whatsoever. Yeah, he get online. He tell his little corny-ass jokes, and then you troll niggas. You he-he-ha-ha, he-he-ha-ha him. He get his little 15 minutes of fame, and then when he cut the camera off, it's back to the struggle again. Struggling. Don't know where his next meal is coming from. Eating fucking ramen noodles every fucking day. And Jack Max and all that, all that, whipping up jail mills and all that. Tuna fish in a can ass nigga. I can't speak for everybody else, but I definitely could speak about this bozo dirty nigga. Because he's been on YouTube for way too long. And he be trying, the nigga be trying so hard, bro. Like, the nigga be trying his hardest, y'all, to get on with YouTube with Cloud Chasing. Dirtying up niggas that had names in the prison and in the streets. He tried to dirty their name up for clout. And the only thing he get is a little $5 cash app. A little $10 cash app, if that. And then when he do get lucky, once every three months, a nigga might send him a little $50, a little $50 super chat. He ungrateful for that. He like, oh, man, you could have sent that, man. I appreciate you, but you know what I'm saying? You could have threw it on the cash app and... Always fucking begging, bro. Never satisfied. And this is the bum nigga that y'all decide to 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 to, to entertain. Like, come on, bro. Saint Lars nigga, I'll watch this content any day of the week before I watch your little funky ass content. Your titles never match what you say. Every every title that you put on your fucking little dirty channel, bro, is fucking clickbait. The struggle is real for you, bro. And you know the struggle real for you. That's why I said, why would you want to be for anybody, bro? And you a broke nigga. You ain't got no money to go to war with no nigga. If some real street shit go down, a nigga could put a bag on your head. Niggas could find you. It's easy to find you. Like, that's why I was saying, like, Tay should have been let you go and never let you return because all you doing is, is, is exposing her her children, and and whoever else she got over there in that fucking household, man. Something is going to happen to the scheme fiend nigga eventually. No matter how, I don't give a fuck how tough that nigga is. That nigga not tough, man. That nigga not tough. That nigga's a little nigga, bro. Little frail, little frail body nigga, bro. mad because niggas is doing better than him in life. You you sad, boy. You really fucking sad, bro. You sad that your aunt, a female, had to go and push your ass to go get a job, and you didn't even hold that job down for six months because you a nigga that's not used to working. You don't want to change your life. You want to do the same bum. You used to that bum panhandling shit every day on YouTube, bro. Hoping and praying somebody could give you some money so you could smoke for the morning and have weed for the rest of the day or the week or whatever. You pathetic, bro. You is not somebody that I would want around my kids. I don't know why she don't throw your ass out that fucking house. You influencing her kids, talking nothing but negative bullshit. You not educating nobody. Nobody can't learn nothing from your content. You boring niggas. You put niggas to sleep on your channel. Your channel is dead. You showing your, in the background, you got dirty walls. Why don't you fucking take a fucking washcloth and get some soap and, and scrub down them dirty ass walls in your fucking aunt's house? Why don't you do that? Because the only thing you do around that motherfucker is eat, sleep, and shit. That's it. 
you are an embarrassment. And I would be embarrassed to even call you an uncle. They should be embarrassed to call you an uncle. What type of uncle or cousin are you to see those kids in there cold with no heat, no gas, no nothing? Then you got the nerve to be talking about what you want to do to somebody because they calling out your, your, your stupidity and ignorance, bro. You not old enough to realize that you got to keep a job, man. You not old enough to realize that shit, bro. What the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? Even y'all troll niggas know, bro, that 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 he, this nigga right here, man, he's a piece of shit for, for allowing his nieces and his nephews or cousins or whoever the fuck that's in that house to let them be in there starving, eating fucking hot pockets and fucking and, and, and fucking lunchables, man, and cold hero sandwiches and shit. That should be his priorities to make sure shit like that don't happen, bro. But no, nah, you on the internet worrying about if a nigga was in PC and not. Nigga, you was in PC too. You got touched. I don't see no scars as much as niggas on the internet talking about, yo, son, this nigga say Nas is capping. Maybe he capping, maybe he not. I don't know. But for people that never been to jail, it's entertaining to them and they support it. You know what I'm saying? They support his channel. You know what I mean? He makes the shit sound exciting. So what's the fucking big deal? He's getting a check off of it. Why are you knocking him? Because you're not getting the love he getting? This, this scheme fiend nigga, bro, this nigga is sickening, bro. He trying to follow in the footsteps of China Brim and and all these other niggas that surpassed them. He trying to follow in their footsteps. At least these niggas is getting love. These niggas is getting cash ass. These niggas is seeing a nice little thousand dollar and some change check every month. You know what I'm saying? These niggas is chilling. They they got motherfuckers on their channel that's supporting them, that's really supporting them and want to see them win. Them troll niggas that you be having on your channel, them niggas don't want to see you win, boy. They just get on there because they ain't got nothing else to do like you. They ain't got no more fucking job, nigga. They ain't got nothing going on, bro. Them niggas is walking. Them niggas is taking the train. Niggas ain't got nothing going on in life, man. Them niggas is corny, man. Only bum niggas look at this nigga and watch him and don't support him. You got to do better, bro. You got to do better. And then now, now he got the new, now the scheme fiend nigga always got a scheme going on. Always got it. Now he got a new scheme going on talking about, yo, yo, all I need is 260, man. And I'm going to get like 50K. I'm going I'm, I'm to get like 90K or some shit like that. Nigga, ain't nobody giving you nothing. You ain't got no credit. You got to have a job, man, in order for these, these credit loaners to trust you, man. These credit card companies ain't going to trust you, bro. You haven't established, you haven't been working Long enough for you to establish any type of credit history or anything like that. No income, no nothing, bro. No, we don't know you. Like you said, you're right. But what we do know is that you've been a bum for the entire three years that you've been on YouTube. You haven't done nothing. But sell niggas hopes and dreams. And once the niggas that was throwing you a couple dollars, once they found out what you was about and you was zoning them, they stopped fucking with you, bro. And they went somewhere else. They started supporting other channels. People on YouTube, they have the right to, to watch and subscribe to whoever the fuck they want. And you tried to control them and you tried to manipulate them. The people that you was giving wrenches to, you didn't like the fact that they were still coming watching my content and watching other YouTubers. And you got mad. Other YouTubers that was talking about you, that was exposing you, they was coming over watching us. And you used to come over to our chat and you used to see that niggas that, that you was giving wrenches to, they was fucking with us. You ain't like that. And you started taking niggas' wrenches away. You a jealous motherfucker, man. As old as you is, bro. How can you not want to see a black a black brother or a Spanish or a Spanish brother win? You know what I'm saying? We all come from the same place. We all went to school with each other. We all was on the the, the free breakfast. We all went to the free breakfast and lunch programs and boys and girls club. And we all went to, you know what I'm saying, group homes together. And we went to the same, we went through the same struggle, man. I consider I consider Puerto Ricans black, man. 
I went with Puerto, I went to school with Puerto Ricans all my life, man. I was in group homes with Puerto Ricans. I was in DFYs with Puerto Ricans. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Puerto Ricans heavy, man. I fuck with my Ricans, man. My Rican bros. But you, man, you something else, boy. Like, you, 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 you need a reality check, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, only you can change your ways, man. Nobody, people could talk to you, try to give you advice, but it's up to you. You just, you just have lack of motivation. You got some people that came home from doing long bids and they come home and, you know what I'm saying? They ready to open up a business or they get into construction. They save their money. They doing things to better themselves and the people around them lives. But you're not doing that, bro. You, you humming and bumming, bro. And niggas don't like you because of that. Because you're trying to get over on motherfuckers that's struggling and trying to make it too. And if we out here, brick ass cold, it's bleeding outside right now. If we out here hustling to make a dollar for our families, then what the fuck is wrong with you? You one of the oldest niggas on YouTube, boy. You fucking 42, 43 years old, man. You don't got a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of, man. It's sad. Y'all stay tuned, man, for more rants, man, from your boy Job, man. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We got more content on the way.